Hello everybody, it's Andy here from AM Media Games. In this video today, let me just adjust my microphone. Um, in this video today, I'm going to be showing you how to create sockets and a relatively simple use case scenario for them. So, let me show you how. First, we're going to do is go to selection mode. I'm going to go to modeling mode. And then in here, we're going to create a custom mesh. So let's just use a box as an example. Place this into the scene. We don't need to do anything else to it and click accept. Now we have our box. We have over on our thumbnail for static mesh. You can see our box. Let's go and right click and browse to asset. And let's rename this, press it F2. Let's um, socket box. And let's now, oops, let's put that a little bit funny. Let's try that again. Where is it? There it is. So socket box. There we go. So we have these two boxes that we can drag and drop into our level. Now, there's nothing on these at the moment. There's no sockets. <clears throat> but to make a custom socket, I'm going to open up your static mesh by double clicking down here in your thumbnail. And you'll see this window. It will be default like this. In the top right, you have your socket manager. Now, a socket is basically a world, lo sorry, a relative location on a mesh that you can place, uh, attach, or move things to. It's kind of like pockets in a sense. So, I'm going to click plus. I'm going to name this to slot. I'm going to control A, control C, and then press enter. So we now have one socket which is going to be slot one and we're going to move this up by grabbing it just like so and we can see here our new socket is now on the top face of our cube so what we're going to do is going to click save <coughs> and close and we can get the location of this socket and we can move things to it let me just close this so let's go into our level blueprint and in our level blueprint let's get an event begin play. <clears throat> Out of our event begin play we're going to get a delay, hold D and left click, let's zoom in a bit more, excuse me, so we're going to get a delay and set this to 3 seconds, we're going to get a reference to our cube, so click on it, right click, create reference and Drag out of this, we're going to get a get socket, uh, oops, get socket location. And we can see here uh, target static mesh component, and we have a get socket location, and we have an option here to <coughs> select the name of the socket that we want to call. So we're going to control V to paste, and out of this, we're going to get a print string. <clears throat> I'm going to connect that into there. So when we play the game, we're going to get event begin play. Three seconds later, it's going to give us a readout of the location of this socket. So let's compile it, go into the level, press play. And if you look at the top left corner, you'll see that you get a readout of a location. So that's the relative location of that socket component. So what we can do as a use case scenario, let's delete this and this. We can set relative location, set relative uh, location, just like so. And let's do um, this one like so. And our target is going to be this cube. So let's select our second one, right click, create reference. And out of this, we're going to get a uh, place it in there like so. Let's move this up. There we go. Oops. There we go. Now, this should. So a little mystery of doing it right. This should now. Let's compile that. After three seconds, move the cube on the right to the top of the cube on the left. Why doesn't it work? I'm glad I left that in. There's a reason why it didn't work. 
Whenever you place an object in the scene, it's going to be static. Make sure you select movable for the objects that you wish to move. If an object is not set as movable, it can't be moved by code because it's it's a static object, it's impossible to move it. So if I click play, you'll notice now that the cube after three seconds fits perfectly on top of the other cube because it's fit itself to the um, socket. So that's a use case scenario for sockets. I hope it inspires people to find other ideas to use them. There are many, many other ideas. You can use them for buoyancy in water. You can create a socket and you can use that as a buoy in your uh, fluid simulations, so objects float in water. Um, there's many other use case scenarios for it, including adding weapons to sockets, or let's say you have um, a trolley with a brush, a pan, you know, different types of objects that you can use. You can have the sockets as your locations for storing those objects, or on a shelf, for example. Um, so yeah, hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Um, like, share, and subscribe if you want to help out the channel. Thanks so much for your time, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.